Hello and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm just going to show you what I got in the Mecca Beauty Loop box for this year. I am level 3 which means I spent a lot of money at Mecca in the last 12 months and the Mecca level 3 beauty gift that has just changed and at the end I will talk a bit about where I've been. So I'll put timestamps down below and we'll start off with uh, the Beauty Loop box. If you spend any time online when if you are super into this you've probably already seen a lot of boxes a lot of stuff about this make you release this four times a year and it's deluxe samples as level three uh we tend to get the more deluxe stuff one of my friends is level two um we collect other boxes at the same time so i have actually so a little card that tells you all about the stuff i've already switched out and i no longer have the byredo fragrance it was really nice. It was a really nice linen-y one, but I stole... She didn't really like her fragrance, which is the replica to buy the fireplace. It's a very smoky fragrance, which I don't think many people would enjoy. So I was happy to let her have mine. I, I don't know. I'm not... <laughs> Me and fragrances are a bit funny. Anyway, I am excited to play with some of the stuff I got. Let's start with the boring stuff. I got a little mini NARS eye, like, eye makeup remover. Gentle oil-free makeup remover. This is just handy to have around. I'm, you know, it's a cute little container. I got the Amore Pacific Time Response Skin Reserve Cream. I'm not that excited about this, but I guess like I'm happy to try it. Have you tried it? Do you know if it's any good? I mean, that's a pretty good little sample to get. What is going on? Is that where you get it from? Oh. Okay. Oh, oh all right. I was opening it the wrong way. Alright, that makes sense. So it was up. Beautiful. Oh yeah, it smells like tea infused, which I think is what it says it is. It's nice. And I'm most excited to play with, I've got the Le Mer. Sorry, I'm reading the piece, but the Le Mer Cream de la Mer. Face cream, replenish your skin moisture. Mmm. It smells fancy. I mean, like, I'm happy to try it. I think I would, I'd like the, yeah. I mean, I've not tried any Le Mer products. I'm too... I mean, I spent a lot of money at Mecca, but like, I'm too stingy to be that bougie. So, that's the stuff I got. I'm pretty happy with it. I saw a lot of people complaining about it, but it's free stuff, and I'm... I'm easily pleased. Anyway, I did actually... Oh, let's talk about... So, this is... Mecca have two options online now, where you can actually order the reduced waste one. And this is the re new reduced waste box. Otherwise, it comes in, like, their fancy boxes, which is handy, but... It came, all the stuff came wrapped up like this. Um, and that's a bit silly when you see what I what I got inside the box. It's two things. So Mecca have just redone their samples now where you can, you don't get to choose them and it's Lucky Dip. So I got this Marie, oh, Mario Badesco hydrating serum. Um, I saw someone had this, is, is, is this a luxury brand? Because I didn't think it was. And I got revitaling up nice cream, night cream from Ren. It's not bad. I, I've tried a bit of this stuff and I, I do like it. I'll quickly show what I did buy. I, I bought this solely so I could pick up my level 3 beauty gift in time. Um, it's a bit of a story. Anyway, I have been eyeing off the Bare Minerals Gen Nude collection for quite a while. They've got the Latte and another brown palette. So I didn't want either one of them. And then I saw that they had this floral beauty. And um, I bought it. I don't think I should have, but I did. And I'm looking forward to seeing if I like it. <laughs> I've swatched it all um, and then packaged it all up, which is how I usually roll my shadows. But it does have like this beautiful dark pink. And sorry, I know you're not even here for this. Um, but this is the Bermanol's bouquet. Oh, it was just super. Something about it just like kept getting me in. Um, I'm looking forward to playing with it. Anyway, so the level three beauty loop boxes, they've just revamped the way that they do the beauty loop system and it's still, they're still releasing more information about it. But for, I think the past two years, the gift has been, um, the illuminating body oil. Um, and I think level two could get this one as well. So I'm not sure. Maybe we've got different sizes. I'm kind of like in love with the box that this came in. So before I went away on my trip, I did go in to pick up my gift. But I was uh, told on the on the sneaky 
Um, and just randomly, I didn't like um, to maybe wait. And that they'd be a brush. And I was like, what? That's a brush. I want that more than the oil. Like, who wants... I mean, this is a fun gift to have. And if you like oil, then I guess. Anyway, so... I've been told there was a brush coming out. And I have been looking online. And I saw someone got it. But this is the oil. So... And when I went in to pick it up, they didn't have this new level 3 brush. Or what it was. And, you know, I mean... I guess I shouldn't have even really known about it. It's an oil. I don't, I don't really get it. Um, but I did. And I was like, oh, well, I really want the brush. I'll see. But unfortunately, it was the Easter long weekend by the time I got back in. And so I messaged the Facebook um, to ask about it. And then the same day, I calculated how long I had so I could redeem my gift. And I was like, well, I'd rather get the oil if I can't get anything else. So I ordered that eyeshadow palette and my gift. And it all came. I did email them to see if I could downgrade to level two, who now get a bronzing brush. And they said that you weren't allowed to. The Facebook responded back to me a week later. Um, yeah, it's not actually in all stores yet. There's quite a limited stock of it. Um, but we can send it out to you. So I got the brand new level three box. And this is what it looks like. So you get a... Oh, look, I'm just breaking this box. Is open. Here it is. So... Instead of the oil, you now get a Mecca Cosmetica highlighting brush and a mini of their Enchanted Powdered. Which, I mean, I have eyed it off before, but I, I have no reason to want to buy it. Because I think it's like 20 bucks something, and I'm, I've got enough stuff. Okay. I'll insert footage of me applying it, and I do have it on right now. If you're interested with this brush, um... So far, I really love the brush. I think it's really good. And the highlighter, it's a really pretty shade. I think... Should we compare it to stuff? I can. Uh, so I did post the picture to... What was it? The Beauty News, like the Not Beauty News page. And a lot of people were saying that it looks darker. Or maybe my lighting was a bit shit. So that's fine. Let's do some hand swatches. So I did pour the white oil down. I've rubbed it off. But we'll see. So this is the Enchanted Lustre Mini. And let's compare it to Becca Champagne Pot, which I just smashed a little bit. So this is just from my mini. Oh yeah, it's a bit more pink than gold. I've got the Maybelline Master Chrome, which is more gold than all of them. And what's another good reference one? Uh, the Fenty Hustler Baby Kilowatt. So that's... The Enchanted. So they're all like slightly a bit different. It's probably actually closest to the Hustler. Huh. Not from this side. No, oh, they're all they're all a bit duochromey. <laughs> or shiny, so they're hard to pick up. Anyway, that is it compared to a few of the other shades around. It's now entering my collection. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. It blended on beautifully and it was easy to use. And um, I feel super privileged and lucky that they sent it out to me. And um, I definitely felt like a bit of a shit when I was thinking for it. Because it is a free gift at the end of the day. And I felt really bad. But I'm excited to have it. I'm excited to share it. And I'm excited to show you. Anyway, I'd love to know what you got in your beauty loot box. If you did get one. Um, or tell me about any rewards that you received recently. Because I love... I love seeing what people get for their rewards. All right, and let's talk a bit about where I have been. So we went overseas for three weeks. Um, I had pre-filmed a lot of content for that, so that all sort of came out while I was gone. And then when I came back, I went into the role of clinical facilitating for nursing students. So that is where you are the big support person for nursing students in their final placement. And uh, it is uh, pretty stressful. I'm probably more stressful than I thought it was going to be. And it really took a lot out of me. So I did that for two weeks. And then I've been working with another student. And it's just been a lot. Um, also, when I first came back, I had laryngitis. So I couldn't talk. And I was able to film that video that you saw of my haul from everything I bought overseas. And in a lot of ways, I have to admit, I've been pretty overwhelmed by my collection lately. And I just haven't known where to start or play. And it's been a while just getting back into the mood to be sitting down filming and playing with my makeup. 
I'm feeling so much better today and I'm feeling like a million times better that I've sat down and done my makeup and played with the Kaleidos collection that definitely is a collection that sort of brought my mojo a little bit back I'll have that video up soon and yeah I'm just I'm really sorry if you've been disappointed that I haven't been posting any videos um, and thank you so much for everyone who's been patient and waiting and I'm um, I'm hopefully I'm gonna be back a bit more regularly now I've never actually set myself like a goal of how many videos I post a week it's just really hard to know with work what I'm gonna feel like posting um, and with life sometimes life just gets in the way of everything um, and it's really hard to sit down and get back into the groove of this but thank you so much for the, all the support I've had in the community I mean I am still getting subscribers um, even though I'm not posting so just you know it's small like I'm still so tiny but I love the little communi community that I've got and I'm so grateful for every single one of you I'm so grateful for, for everyone's support and I don't really ever think that I take that for granted because I don't um, it's such a big thing to me that to think that you've subscribed to me and then you know it's easy to get into a headspace of feeling guilty that you aren't doing as much as you could be and I do I absolutely love sitting down and doing this but unfortunately for me I do need to be in a good headset like a good mindset to do this and enjoy um, and I think we're back there anyway um, I hope that explains it enough I'm about to be doing facilitating for students again soon um, and then after that I've got a big break for a while so I'm looking forward to that time and it will be but um, I'm hoping things have settled down a lot and there's just been uh, there's been a lot of other stuff going on outside of that that's just not my place to go into and share it's not my story and it's just it's been tough um, but I just want to thank every single one of you and I want to know that I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart and you all mean the world to me anyway I hope you've enjoyed seeing all these Mecca Beauty Lip products I hope you understand and I'm looking forward to getting back into a more regular routine of posting I don't think I'll ever set a like time amount of videos that I'll post I usually think I post like minimum three videos a week on a good wicket <laughs> um, and yeah we're not going overseas anytime soon so there shouldn't be any more big gaps <sighs> like we've had anyway um, yeah just once again thank you I really appreciate you all